in the heart of ancient Mesopotamia, where civilizations arose and fell, lies a place shrouded in mystery and reverence. It is Iku, the sacred dwelling place of the gods themselves, a temple so magnificent it was believed to bridge the earthly realm with the divine. In this video, we'll journey through the sands of time to unlock the secrets of Ikur, the mountain house, and unravel the stories of the powerful beings who were worshipped within its walls. Ikur was not merely a temple, it was the cosmic axis within the holy city of Nippur. Nippur pulsed with spiritual significance for the Sumerians, one of the world's earliest known civilizations. This is where the great gods and goddesses of Sumer were worshipped. Enlil, Enlil, king of the gods, the supreme force of wind, air, and the earth itself, Anun, the distant sky god, father of deities, and source of divine authority. Inanna, Inanna, the powerful goddess of love, fertility, and warfare. Enki, Enki, the clever god of wisdom, fresh water, and the patron of craftspeople. The very design of Ikur was intended to inspire awe. Think of it as a towering, multi-leveled structure resembling a stepped pyramid, a ziggurat, yet far more complex. It reached towards the heavens, a symbolic ladder for the gods to descend to earth. Inside were elaborate courtyards, shrines dedicated to various gods, and a most holy inner chamber for Enlil himself. The Sumerians believed Ekur was the mountain house, the bond between heaven and earth, also called the Duranki. Every element of its architecture held symbolic meaning, reflecting the intricate order of the Sumerian cosmos. Ekur was more than just a house of worship. It was where the divine assembly gathered. Enlil, as king of the gods, presided over a complex pantheon. Lesser gods would journey to Ikur to pay homage, receive instructions for their domains, and even have their fates determined. Imagine it as an otherworldly council, shaping the laws that govern the lives of mortals. The rituals performed within Ikur's walls held immense power, both spiritually and politically. Elaborate offerings, hymns, and prayers were aimed at appeasing the gods and ensuring their favor rained down upon the land. Iku wasn't just about the gods, though. It was intricately linked to Sumerian kingship. The legitimacy of a king was cemented through his blessings within Iku. His connection to the divine made him not just a ruler, but a shepherd for his people. Iku was not merely a static monument. Its influence rippled through time. Even after Sumer's dominance waned, the sanctity of Ica endured. Conquering empires, such as the Babylonians and the Assyrians, paid homage to the temple, making their own offerings and restorations. They recognized the symbolic power that Ica held in the hearts of the people. It's fascinating to note that elements of Ica's design likely influenced other religious structures throughout history. The concept of a towering temple reaching towards the heavens echoes in the ziggurats of Babylon and even possibly in the biblical legend of the Tower of Babel. Though Ikur now lies in ruins, its secrets have not been entirely lost. Through meticulous excavations, archaeologists have unearthed a wealth of knowledge about this sacred place. Cuneiform tablets found at Nippur tell of grand building projects rituals, and the intricate workings of the temple's priesthood. Every fragment of pottery, every inscription, is a puzzle piece that helps us reconstruct this vital part of our shared human history. And why does a ruined temple from thousands of years ago still hold power over our imaginations? Perhaps it's because Ica represents a fundamental human desire the yearning to understand the forces that shape our world and to connect with something larger than ourselves. Even today, the legacy of Ikur resonates. Its stories inspire artists, writers, and spiritual seekers. It's a reminder that the echoes of ancient civilizations are all around us, waiting to be rediscovered.
If the mysteries of Ikur and the world of ancient Sumeria fascinate you, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more explorations into the deep past. Were there certain aspects of this video that sparked your curiosity? Let me know in the comments below so we can delve deeper together. And if you enjoyed this journey through history, please share this video and help spread the wonder of the mountain house.